Hello everybody and welcome to Machad Shooting Bench. This episode is going to be on rimmed and rimless cartridges, what the difference are, and um, what a case mouth is. Because a lot of people ask me uh, why when you put a cartridge like a 32 ACP or a 9mm into a barrel like this one, uh, why doesn't it just fall through? Because most people um, know that like a revolver has a, a rimmed case. So there's actually, a, if you can see it without it going out of focus here, there's actually a rim um, that protrudes slightly out from the body of this case here. Now if you look at a 9mm auto cartridge, this goes in a semi-automatic pistol, this goes in a revolver, this is a 38 special, this is a 9mm. Um, you can see the the difference there. Um, one is much longer than the other. Uh, the 38 Special was a lot longer because it was designed um, a little while before uh, the 9mm was, and it was originally designed to be used with black powder. And um, to get the velocities that they wanted out of a 38 Special with black powder, they really needed to have a lot of case volume so you could have a lot of black powder in there. Nowadays, uh, with modern smokeless powders, which are much less dense, uh, are much more dense than black powder, um, your powder may only go up to that high on the case. So there's a lot of space there. But these two rounds are essentially, power-wise, probably just about the same. I think the nine millimeter has the edge on the 38 special by a little bit of a margin, but not by much. But anyway, back to the uh, the rimmed and the rimless. The 38 special is a rimmed cartridge, which means that. If you look right there, you can see that there is a rim um, that protrudes out from the body of the case. Uh, on the 9mm, however, there is no rim. You have this little extractor groove that goes around the whole side of the cartridge case, but there's no rim as on the 38 Special. I don't know if you can, you can see the difference there. Um, so basically what that allows you to do is when you put the cartridge in the gun um, on the rimmed cartridge the rim actually catches and keeps the whole cartridge case from sliding through the chamber so for example I have my uh, my model 60 over here um, I'm not gonna close it um, so that way there's really no not any safety issues or anything so we're not gonna close that but just for uh, illustration purposes say you took this 9 millimeter right um, if you were to put that in there, first off it won't go in because it's a tapered cartridge as opposed to the 38 Special which is a straight walled case, but um, there's nothing to stop that rim from going past the face of the cylinder, the rear face of the cylinder, and the round would just, you know, fall right through. With the 38 Special, however, there's a rim right on the back, and what happens is that rim stops that from going all the way through. You can see that right there. Now if you take, see how the extractor star lifts the rim? That allows you to eject your spent cases. So that's a rimmed cartridge and, and having that rim allows you to um, you know, essentially fire the cartridge that's in the gun. Now so you may ask if there's no rim on the 9mm or other similar auto cartridges, um, how does it keep from falling through the barrel? I've taken the barrel out of my Sig Sauer, uh, my 9mm, it's right here. You look down there, you can see, um, see just before the spiral grooves, um, there's this little lip um, that's in the chamber. I don't know if you can see it, it's on the outside edge here. Well, that is where something butts up against it. It's called the case mouth. So on a cartridge case, you have this little like ledge right there. It's called the case mouth. That case mouth on auto pistols has to be left pretty much as it is because when, when you put the bullet into the chamber, that case mouth stops the round from falling all the way through the barrel. That juts up against that little ledge that we just showed you. and That allows you to have auto pistol rounds that don't have a rim and the extractor groove pulls the shell out like that but that case mouth juts up against that ledge so you can't push that all the way down through. 
Now, um, for instance, uh, here's another round. I don't have a gun for it, but I do have the, uh, the empty case, and this kind of show you what I mean by the case mouth. This is a case for a 357 SIG. It's a bottleneck cartridge. Um, some bottleneck like rifle cartridges, they head space off this shoulder here. As you can see, um, the 357 SIG has been necked down and the 9mm is not. So basically the 357 SIG is a 40 caliber case, a case, a 40 Smith & Wesson case. It's been necked down to accept a 9mm bullet. Um, you'll see it, some cops, some police departments use these. Um, it's a damn good cartridge. Um, you can see this one, there's a square indentation on the firing pin. Um, that tends to signify that it was fired out of a Glock because Glock has a square firing pin and a square firing pin hole. But uh, 357 SIG is a really good caliber. And even on these ones, um, the, the head spacing is done on the case mouth here. Now another interesting thing you'll notice is if you look at the, um, the revolver round, you'll see that the case kind of tapers inward as it crimps onto the bullet. That's called crimp and the case mouth is kind of turned inward onto the bullet but the only reason that works for a revolver is because the revolver head space is off the rim that it has if you try if you uh, roll crimped an auto pistol cartridge it wouldn't have any place to head space inside the barrel and the the bullet could go further into the chamber than you want it to so um, and uh, that's basically the difference between an auto pistol cartridge and a revolver cartridge. Um, the other thing is you also have some that are like this one, like the 32 ACP, that they're called semi-rimmed. This one right here has a very, very slight rim to it that protrudes just very slightly. Um, there are some cartridges like uh, this one, um, the 38 Super is another one that um, is semi-rimmed. These also um, headspace off the case mouth. So these are just like the 9mm cartridge, except they have a semi rim, which, uh, like the 38 Super, for instance, back when the 38 Super first came out back in the 1920s, it headspaced off this semi rim. And the original 38 Supers had a, a reputation for extremely poor accuracy sometimes. Um, and it was because the uh, the round head spaced off that semi rim well if you don't have enough space to actually keep the round you know um, steady in the firing chamber when you're getting ready to fire you're not going to have good accuracy um, so later on Barstow barrels um, they ended up designing 38 super barrels that actually head spaced on the case mouth and that immediately solved all the accuracy problems that people were experiencing so um, Definitely, um, you don't see too many of these anymore. Uh, 32 ACP isn't nearly as common as it once was. Um, you still see it in pocket pistols, but pretty much everybody's gone to 380 and 9mm uh, pistols for that sort of thing. But um, yeah, that's just a, a short, uh, a short thing about uh, head spacing and um, case mouse and rimmed and semi-rimmed cartridges. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching.